Hello, hi ladies, hi Lux dolls. Um, so I thought I'd pop on live um, to see if you have any questions for me that I could answer. Now let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yes, so um, our 30 day waist training challenge has officially come to an end. We did the 30 day waist training challenge for the month of November and it was a huge success. And so there's gonna be a video to come sharing with you the results from our Lux dolls and you know the impact that waist training has um, in just 30 days and the results that you can expect to see in just 30 days. In fact, if you're curious and you don't wanna wait for that video to come out, you can look back at the video that I released last year from the 30 day waist training challenge. Um, in that video, I shared with you all of the different results from our Lux dolls, and it just shows you, you know, the power of waist training and what you can achieve in a short period of time. So, um, hi Lucy, if you're here with me live, that'd be great if you'd share your name, where you're from, if you have any questions, I always love to interact with you guys, get to know you a little bit more, where you're from and all of that. I am right now in California. And I know you can't see much here inside, but it is a rainy, gloomy day today, um, which is fine. California needs a bit of rain, but I came here from my hometown in Vancouver, Canada. And right now it is winter time in Canada and very cold. Um, so even though there's rain here, it's a lot better <laughs> than it is back at home in Canada. So um, the idea of today is just to answer all of your waist training questions. Anything that I can answer, I'd love to do. Um, I just recorded a video about this makeup routine <laughs> because I know that oftentimes when I post a picture on Instagram, people are asking me, what kind of makeup do you use? And so I just did a, this is like my everyday makeup routine. So I recorded a video about how I do this. So that is coming to you soon. So let me just open up on my computer, um, my YouTube so I can see your questions as they come in. And um, yeah, and then I also have a list of questions here that I'm gonna answer from people on um, Facebook. So, so we've got Pop Poppy watching from England, very cool. Awesome, okay, and who else do we have here? So we've got Maria, we've got Lucy. Poppy has a question, I'll answer that in a second. Lucy from Cali, another one from Cali as well. Monica from New York. Someone says, I love your nails. Thank you, they are bright blue. I'm actually gonna get them done maybe tonight or tomorrow because I just don't like the shape. And honestly, I'm not good with fake nails because I always end up like pulling them and it really hurts when you hit them on something. So I kind of just wanna take them off, but we'll see what I'm gonna do. We've got Ari from Florida. Awesome. <laughs> Autumn says, oh my goodness, I'm at work and finally get to see a live video. Hello. Yeah, I know, you know, it's hard to do live videos because I travel so much and I'm always in a different time zone. And oftentimes when I'm about to go live, it's like the most inconvenient time for the majority of my audience. So now that I'm in the US, this is a better time. Um, yeah, so uh, let me answer some questions for you. Um, okay, so um, first I'll answer you guys on YouTube and then I'll move on to the Facebook questions. So Poppy says, will it be more effective when working out? So the waist trainer, the beauty of the waist trainer is that you don't have to work out. You don't have to work out or change your diet. I'm just showing you this color because it matches my nails. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites. Um, so you can wear the waist trainer as is without changing your lifestyle. So whatever you're doing now, however you're living right now, none of that has to change. If you just incorporate incorporate waist training into your everyday routine, you will see results in terms of your waistline shrinking. But you'll only see results if you're consistent. And I know I talk about this all the time, but it's so true. With waist training, you have to be consistent. So if you're wearing it on a regular basis, you know, up to eight hours a day, you will start to see your waistline shrinking without your body changing in terms like you're not gonna lose weight, your other measurements won't change, it'll just be your waistline. Now, if you do decide to incorporate some physical activity, going to the gym, exercising, yoga, taking long walks, hiking, any kind of physical activity, of course your results are gonna be better. Of course you're gonna see more dramatic results because 
you know, physical activity does wonders for your body. It's just going to help you shape up in a much shorter period of time. And if you go one step further and actually, you know, make sure that what you're eating is good for you, you're eating clean foods, you're going to see fantastic results because we have to remember that waist training is an accessory. It's an accessory that complements what you're doing and it's not going to work miracles. It does, you know, do some magic for sure. The fact that you could just wear a waist trainer and, you know, not make any changes to your routine and you already see um, results in your waistline, but it's not a replacement for working out and eating clean. If you work out and you eat clean, you're going to see results that you'll never be able to see with waist training. But at the same time with waist training, you're going to see results that you won't see with just working out because the waist trainer actually sculpts your waistline. It's very hard to just sculpt your waistline with, uh, you know, eating clean and working out. Um, there's ways that you can with bodybuilding like if you're lifting weights, you can train yourself to lift weights and uh, train your back, your shoulders and your glutes. And as those increase in size, then you have this illusion of having a smaller waist. But the only thing that truly targets your waistline is a waist trainer. So um, neither replaces either. Like it's just be best to do both. And for myself, I initially, like I've always been very active, but um, when I started waist training, I was kind of just waist training. I was working out, but um, I was mostly waist training. Like I was working out maybe three days a week. And so I was waist training every day and I saw fabulous results just from waist training. Now it's the opposite. Now I waist train only maybe once or twice a week and I work out almost every single day. And so things have changed a bit for me, but I saw the results that I wanted to see. I got, you know, what I wanted to achieve and you don't have to waist train forever. It's not like you have to do this for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, okay. So that hopefully that answers that question. Um, let's see any other questions. So Andrea says, you said no returns on the Black Friday items. What about exchanges if the waist trainers don't fit? Yeah, so the Black Friday sale was our biggest sale ever, um, up to 50% off select items. And those, those that sale was final sale. And so we made it clear, like if you have questions about sizing, you can reach out to us. And we have 24 seven customer support. Most of the time you can live chat with someone on our website and then we can help you find out the right size so that you don't have to return the waist trainer. So all of those products are final sale and that's just because the discount is so big, like we can't afford to, to give you a replacement. In fact, if you got a waist trainer for 50% off, um, you basically got the waist trainer for free because we don't make any money from a waist trainer that we sell for 50% off. We were just um, trying to do a really good sale because we haven't done a sale that big in a very long time. Um, okay. So Erica says, I am that weird size in between a medium and a large. Large is too big and a small is too small. <laughs> Yeah, that's unfortunate. So it depends, like what size do you, ha do you have a waist trainer with you now? Like which one do you have? If you don't have one, what you could do is you could, if you're in between, you could get the smaller waist trainer. Um, or actually you said large is too big, but oh, between a medium and a large. Yeah, so you could get the medium waist trainer, get an extender, and then it's gonna be enough for you to fit into the waist trainer. And then you can just size down into the medium so that you get rid of the extender. So instead of buying a large waist trainer, just get the medium and get an extender with it. The extenders fit all of our traditional waist trainers. So you can get them on our website. Um, if you have our brand, it's gonna fit our brand. If you have a different brand waist trainer, then it won't work. But the extenders are, um, I think they're, they were, uh, they're $15. I think $15 for the extenders. Um, so basically it just extends the waist trainer so that you have a bit more space. So it's perfect for you if you're the in-between size. That's like why they were made. Okay, um, let's see here. Gabrielle, Gabrielle says, hi, I'm the Israeli who had commented on where to go. 
Went from medium to an extra small. Hope you had fun though. Thank you. Yes, it was a fantastic trip. Really loved it. So much history um, and it was beautiful. Thank you. And I'm happy to hear that you have seen some great results from a medium to an extra small. That is quite significant. So make sure you celebrate that because sometimes we don't celebrate these like small victories and I think it's important that we do because otherwise we don't realize how far we've come. You know, to lose an inch in your waistline or two inches, that is significant and um, it's it's good to celebrate those things Lucy says can your underwear be adjustable for a 34 B underwear for short for shorties like me who are 410 height um, for a 34 B like the tops are adjustable the bottoms aren't adjustable so the Lux curves underwear line it's um, a two-piece set and they're 100% cotton and they're meant to wear like for comfort. Um, and I wear my underwear all the time because they're just like the most comfortable underwear I've ever worn in my life. And they also don't get destroyed in the washing machine. I find a lot of underwears do. Plus 100% cotton means that even if you have sensitive skin, this is perfect for you. And especially if you live in a country that has high humidity, you don't wanna wear any synthetic undergarments. That's terrible for your skin. Um, so, um, I'm not sure about your question, Lucy, but yeah, like the top is adjustable. So maybe that answers your question. Coco says, hi, I'm from Vancouver, Canada as well. Hi. Awesome. Gabrielle says, I have loose skin from losing 110 pounds. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Good for you. That's incredible. Tell us your secrets. <laughs> we want to know. And I'm 130 pounds at five foot five and it has shrunk a bit. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Loose skin is something that I see often that we're talk we like discuss in the Facebook group. I see a lot of people concerned about loose skin, especially after dramatic weight loss like that. And, um, <clears throat> you know, like there's loose skin. I think sometimes it needs time, time to kind of pull itself back together. If you've lost weight fast, that's where you see the loose skin. If you lose weight more gradually, um, you know, not so quickly, then your skin has time to adjust. But if you lose weight fast, that's when you tend to get more loose skin. And so sometimes time is just your friend, but also I think like the waist training can help. Like there's no scientific research around waist training helping you with loose skin, but we have seen some Lux dolls um, have major improvements by wearing the waist trainer because the waist trainer is kind of pulling everything in. And in fact, if you think about like, what is the purpose of waist trainer? Well, the idea of it is to sculpt your body. And so with your loose skin, if it's hanging out, if you have a lower belly, you know, hanging out, you know, gravity's pulling that down. But when the waist trainer sucks it in, it kind of pulls it back to where it should be. It's not having any more damage from gravity pulling it down. And it can help you with that as well. And that's why when you, people go and get um, like surgery, for example, those who get tummy tucks or liposuction, those plastic surgeons, they recommend their patients to wear a waist trainer or a similar full body garment for several months after they have the surgery. And the reason being is because that's what it does. It sucks, it holds everything where it's supposed to be and that's how it sculpts your body. So I think with consistent use, it can definitely help loose skin. So Gabrielle says, my highest was 240. I'm always watching my diet and I'm always exercising to maintain. Don't remember the last time I had a cheat day. Wow, good for you. That's a lot of willpower. You know, a lot of times like that's what stops people from really losing weight is just not having enough willpower to get through those, you know, oftentimes we eat during times of stress. And so if you had a stressful day, you come home and you say, no, like I wanna eat whatever I wanna eat. I wanna make it easy. And so it's during those times when, when you can say no and you can stick to your, your healthy diet. That's I think what makes the biggest difference. 
because it's easy when everything's good and when times are tough, when there's stress and when there's problems, that's when usually all of our willpower disappears. So good for you. Okay, um, I'm gonna answer one more question and then we're gonna move on to a couple other questions from Facebook. So um, Amanda says, how do you know your waist trainer is tight enough? One thing I like to do is, okay, when you're not wearing your waist trainer, you can measure your waist and make sure when you're measuring your waist, you're not like tightening the measuring tape just so that it's a smaller measurement. You want to have the right measurements. And so just wrap the, measure, the uh, measuring tape around your waistline don't make it taut. And whatever your waist measurement is, say you have a 34 inch waist. When you put your waist trainer on, your waistline should be at least one inch smaller than it was without the waist trainer on. So when you put your waist trainer on, your waistline should be at least 33 inches if without the waist trainer it was 34 inches. And that just tells you that the waist trainer is fitting you because you know, it could also be two or three inches smaller. Um, but if it's bigger or the same size as your waistline, if you put this waist trainer on now and my waist trainer is the same size as my waist is without it, then it's too big. If it makes my waistline bigger, then it's too big. But it should be at least one inch smaller when I wear my waist trainer than when I'm not wearing it. And that's how I know that it's tight enough, that it's tight enough so that it's actually reducing my waist size. Because if it's not tight enough, it's actually just, me adding bulk and it's not compressing enough to to show results. <clears throat> Lucy says I I went from a small medium waist trainer to an extra small waist trainer and now I'm on the last row of my rainbow print waist trainer. I'm waiting on arrival for my two extra small army print waist trainer at my 26 waistline after the 30 day challenge. That's fantastic. Seems like you're being really consistent and that's the trick, that's the key with waist training is consistency. Cause if you're just gonna wear it for one week, you're not gonna see results. But if you wear it consistently, you'll see those results that everyone's always raving about. <clears throat> Caster says, how do I find the, correct, uh, find the correct size for me as a fat person? Well, you can contact our customer support. So we have, uh, all of our team, we're all women, and we know how to size you based on your individual measurements. And so what we request, you can reach out to us, we can tell you what we need from you, but we request your waistline measurement and your torso measurement, and if you feel comfortable, photos of your stomach from the front and the side. And so with that, we can give you very individual, very personalized sizing recommendation to make sure that you find you get the waist trainer that is the perfect fit. Um, so if you can send us that information, you can go to luxcurves.com on our website. We have a little Facebook messenger live chat on the bottom right hand corner and you can chat with someone there. Um, or you can email us at info at luxcurves.com and we can help you. Christina says, does a waist trainer slim size of your rib cage by any chance, like under the bust? So the waist trainer does not have the strength to move your bones. And that's one of the reasons why I talk about waist trainers, why I use them. Like if it actually had the strength to move your bones, I wouldn't be endorsing this product or, or waist training in general because that's, that's risky. I don't want to move my bones. That's my internal anatomy. Like my bones are there to protect my organs. And so the waist trainer doesn't have the power to do that. A corset, if you wear it and you take it to an extreme, it does have the strength to shift your bones over time. Um, but the waist trainers themselves, they don't have that strength. So if you are, if you have flared ribs, because I know some people have flared ribs and they want their rib cage to become smaller, you, it's just not going to happen with waist training. And honestly, I wouldn't try and change that. You know, like your body's built that way. We're not trying to change really how we're built. We're just trying to sculpt a little bit. Um, but like if you're in, you're built with bones like that, there's not much that you can do um, without going to an extreme. Like I have pretty big rib cage as well. And um, so when I wear my waist trainer, it's always really tight on my ribs. 
but that's just how it is. So another question here, um, Christina says, does a waist, oh, sorry, you just answered that. Um, Akaisha, very cool name, says, are we meant to sleep with it on? So I absolutely do not recommend that you sleep with your waist trainer on. It's not necessary. You don't have to wear a waist trainer 24 hours a day. You should not wear a waist trainer 24 hours a day because waist training, again, it's an accessory. It's meant to help you, but it's like, you don't want your body to become dependent on a waist trainer. A waist trainer is great because it wraps around your torso. It can help you to have good posture because of look at these, these vertical steel bones here, they're vertical, your spine is vertical, it helps you to have a straight posture. But if you're wearing this 24 seven, you're sleeping in it, your body becomes accustomed to it and it becomes like a second skin. And that's actually where it gets dangerous because then your body becomes dependent on the waist trainer. And we don't want your body to be dependent on the waist trainer, we want your body to be able to support itself. So like with anything, waist training can be taken to an extreme and I would, I would say that sleeping with your waist trainer is taking it to an extreme. It's not necessary. You know, also you have to think about, look at all these hooks. You know, what if you're sleeping and you have a panic attack, you know, there's an emergency, you have to take off this waist trainer, like under all of that adrenaline, are you going to be able to take off all these hooks? It becomes a hazard at that point and it's just like not worth the risk. Um, so Krista says, are these waist trainers terrible for your insides? No. So like I mentioned before, these are not going to do anything to your insides. You have to, when you, like, if you take a biology course, you realize that all of your internal organs, they're slippery. They naturally move around. When a woman is pregnant and her body is stretching, her organs are shifting dramatically within her body. They're meant to do that. It's normal. The waist trainers don't have the ability to, to hurt or damage or puncture your internal organs, especially those important ones since they're under your, your bones, they're under your rib cage. Your rib cage protects a lot of your organs, the majority of them. Um, so no, the waist trainer is not gonna hurt you in any way. I've actually done, I've done a, a type of x-ray with when I uh, first started waist training and then a year after I started waist training and I have videos of this. Um, and it showed when I first started waist training, I had mild scoliosis in my spine. And after a year, my spine was straight. And so I know that I said that the waist trainer can't shift your bones and it can't. But when you think about what is the waist trainer doing when you wear it? When I was wearing the waist trainer, I was having better posture. So I, by wearing the waist trainer, I helped my body to realign itself. So I was having that scoliosis by having always poor posture and putting myself in very weird positions. And after wearing the waist trainer for a year, it really helped me to have a straighter back, which helped me to fix that mild scoliosis. Um, so it does have, like there are some benefits like that. Nothing's proven. There's no scientific studies around waist training. So you just have to do your own due diligence. Consult with your doctor if you have any health issues and, um, yeah, and like overall, waist training is safe, but like I said, anything can be taken to an extreme. Gabrielle says, I have been wearing my waist trainer for eight hours a day at an extra small. I personally have had no side effects. So um, Sarah says, I'm wearing my waist trainer 24 seven. Is there any danger from that? Yes, so as I mentioned earlier, I don't want to see any of you following me taking waist training to an extreme, because just like with anything, it can be taken to an extreme where it can be dangerous. We don't really know what waist training can do if you're wearing it 24 seven, you know, every single day. I can only imagine that it's not good. You know, it's not a natural state for your body to be in a waist trainer 24 seven. The waist trainer is meant to be an accessory. It's like something that's gonna help you along the way, help you achieve results, but you don't want your body to become dependent on it. So it's safe, but just don't take it to an extreme. And 24 seven is an extreme. So I would recommend to not do that. 
you're gonna see great results. You don't have to do 24 seven. Up to eight hours a day, you're gonna see fantastic results. Trust me on that. There's no need to go to an extreme with it. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more questions and then we will turn this off. <clears throat> Someone says, um, can you lose weight with it on even if you don't exercise? So um, waist training is not really going to help you to lose weight. It's about sculpting your body. And, you know, oftentimes, like, I don't even like to look at the scale. I don't even really know how much I weigh because weight doesn't matter. What matters is how my body looks. Um, that's more important for me. You know, like when I first, you know, a few years ago, I was 20 pounds lighter than I am today. But today I look way better than I did a few years ago. And that's because of all the muscle that I've developed, muscles heavy and all of that stuff. So I don't even look at the weight. But anyways, to answer your question, it's not gonna help you lose weight. The only way it can indirectly help you lose weight is when you're wearing this waist trainer around your waistline and you're eating food, it's a natural appetite suppressant because it compresses your stomach kind of like that surgery, the gastric bypass surgery, where your stomach becomes smaller and you don't eat as much. The waist trainer kind of does that for you because when it's compressing your stomach, when it's compressing your stomach, you become very aware of the foods that you're eating and how much you're eating. And so if you wore a waist trainer during Thanksgiving dinner this past weekend, you probably would be full after, you know, a few bites because you become more aware of your stomach and it feels very uncomfortable for the waist trainer to expand, for your belly to expand with the waist trainer on. It's just like, you know, when you have your Thanksgiving dinner and you're wearing pants and you have to unbuckle your belt because your stomach is growing, it literally has gotten bigger. And with the waist trainer on, that, that feeling of your stomach getting bigger is uncomfortable. So what happens is you tend to eat less. And so that's why it's a natural appetite suppressant because to avoid that uncomfortable feeling, you tend to just say, I don't need to have a second serving. I'm good. I'm full. Thank you very much. And so I've noticed that for myself, if I am trying to like lose weight or something, you know, the waist trainer itself isn't going to make me lose weight, but by wearing it, I tend to eat less, have smaller portions and just be more mindful and aware of my body. Okay. A couple more questions here. Um, so Verena, another cool name, says, will the waist trainer work even if you have an office job and sitting most of the time? Yes. And that's the cool thing about waist training. That's why it's so attractive to so many people is because you can just wear it, you know, like you don't have to change your life. You just put it on in the morning, which is the easiest time to get on because that's when your stomach is flattest put it on in the morning and just do get on with your day, whether you're going to go to work, whether you're going to go grocery shopping, whether you're going to go, you know, babysit the kids or whatever it is. Like you just move on with your day. You don't have to change anything. And then if you're consistent with it, you start to see results as is. So yes, absolutely. If you are sitting down all day, I recommend getting our short torso um, because it's going to be shorter. So for example, <clears throat> this here is a short torso waist trainer. This is the back of it. So look how tiny it is, it's cute. But this is a medium torso waist trainer. So you can see here that the difference in length. So if you're sitting down all day, this one is gonna be more comfortable than the bottom one because when you're sitting down, like everything's compressed and so you don't want to have your waist trainer crunching in your lower back and in your stomach because that's going to like dig into your skin. So having a shorter torso waist trainer is going to be perfect for you if you're sitting all day. But if you're not sitting all day, then you want to make sure you get the right torso length. We have three different torso lengths. We've got short, medium, and long. The short torso is nine inches. So torso is basically from under your bust down to where you want the waist trainer to end. Um, so it's nine inches. The medium is 11 and a half inches and the long is 13 and a half inches. So they're quite different. Um, so again, if you have questions, we have amazing customer support who can help you figure out the right size. Okay. Uh, 
Um, Ivory says, I already have the traditional. When would you recommend using the latex waist trainer? You know, we have so many different types of waist trainers and I always recommend to everyone to start with the traditional because that's kind of the most gentle. It's gonna give you great results. It's a great introduction to waist training, but at any point in time, you're, you're free to upgrade to a different type of waist trainer. So we have the latex waist trainer. We have the double compression vest, which is like double the compression as you know, the name denotes. And we have um, the vest waist trainer, we've got the fitness belt, so you can try different things. Um, and then you can decide which one you know you like best, which one's most comfortable for you, you know, which one works best with your lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Um, you want something that is comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you're not gonna wear it, you're not gonna see results. Alex says, poor posture can be caused by weak muscles in your stomach. That's absolutely true. That's why it's really important to strengthen your core. I always like to do a lot of core exercises at the gym. It helps to strengthen my core. So it helps to make sure I don't have so much back pain. Um, and then it's also, you know, gives you nice abs. <laughs> Okay. So um, Karina says, will the 25 steel bone help with loose skin? And can you see it under clothing? Um, so as I mentioned earlier, like there's no studies about waist trainers helping with loose skin. So I don't just wanna throw these statements at you that have nothing to back them up. I wanna be honest with you and I don't wanna bullshit you. So there's no studies to prove loose skin. But, you know, we have some dolls, you know, even Gabrielle just said that she noticed that her waist trainer helped her with some loose skin. Um, you can only try it and then be the judge. You know, try it, see if it helps you. If you're wearing it consistently, I think it makes sense that it can help because again, if your stomach is just hanging out, you know, hanging below your belt, you know, gravity is gonna pull it down, it's gonna get looser. But if, if the waist trainer can tuck in that stomach and lift it up, it can help. So for me, it logically makes sense, but there's just nothing to back that up. And yes, the 25 steel bone is fabulous. It's great. It's like a level up from the traditional waist trainer. The traditional waist trainer has nine steel bones. 25 steel bone has 25. So it's quite rigid. It's not the most comfortable waist trainer. You don't want to wear it for an extended period of time, but you can see great results from it. And now we have this one in a nine inch. We used to only have it in medium torso length and now we have it in short torso, which is fabulous for people like myself who are short torso because I love the 25 steel bone, but I really couldn't wear it before because it was just too long. Now I can actually wear it. I love your waist trainers. Haven't felt this confident in forever, to be honest. I was told I should start a weight loss channel. If I do, I'll certainly be mentoring these mentioning these waist trainers. Oh, thank you. That's so great. I love hearing that. And I think that's, you know, my favorite part about, you know, having this business and, and this brand Lux Curves is just seeing how waist training can just transform a woman's confidence, you know, feeling insecure about your body and, you know, not feeling so good to, to wearing a waist trainer instantaneously looking at yourself in the mirror and all of a sudden being reminded of that that woman you are of that femininity of you know that the sexy being that you are it's just like very empowering and i think it's just sometimes we need a reminder sometimes we get bogged down and we lose that self-confidence and it's up to us to kind of reignite that flame and i think you know sometimes as silly as it might sound putting on a waist trainer can do that for a lot of people because all of a sudden you start seeing these curves that you felt were like gone for so long and you start to have more confidence in your body which translates to all areas of your life when you're confident in your body and how you look that confidence is going to show in your workplace it's going to show in your family it's going to show with anything else that you do in life so it's not like you know waist training it just has a small impact it has a huge significant impact if you're seeing great results and if you're loving what it's doing for your body um okay I 
Erica says, how can you sit down with a waist trainer without it being uncomfortable? I know you're not supposed to sit all day with it, but when I'm breastfeeding, I have to sit so it's uncomfortable. I understand that. Um, that's why I recommend that if you do tend to sit down, you know, for a long period of time, whether it's because you're at home with your baby or if it's because you have an office job, then I recommend going for a short torso waist trainer. So maybe you're not really a short torso. Maybe you're a medium torso or even a long torso. Um, but if you are sitting down for a long period of time, the short torso might be best for you because it's gonna be the most comfortable. Because I like, look how short this is. This is your back. This is where your back goes. And it's longer in the front. So even though it's a short torso, the front is still a bit longer. So it's gonna cover more of your belly fat. And it just makes sitting down more pleasurable. If you're not gonna be sitting down all day, get the right torso length. But if you are sitting down all, all day, I would recommend the short torso. Um, aside from that, do I have any advice for you if you're sitting down? Um, you know, the fitness belt might be an option as well. The fitness belt is meant to be used at the gym, but because it is a shorter torso and because it is adjustable and it's easy to get on and easy to get off, it might be something that resonates more with you, especially if you're just at home, you know, with the baby, then maybe you don't like, you don't need to wear it out in public. It's just like you put it on over your clothes, take it off. It's gives you that flexibility. So that might be something that is better for your lifestyle at the moment. Okay, a couple more questions. I know I keep saying that, but I just wanna make sure that I don't not answer you guys. Um, so Felicia says, hi, I'm from Washington State. I'm 48 and it has helped my back along with my waist. I went from a 36 inch waist to a 30 inch. Wow, wearing it 12 hours a day. It kept me from overeating. Mom of three, grandmother of two. Congratulations, that is amazing. Good for you. Grandmother already at 48, must be one of those hot grandmas. <laughs> so that's amazing. So you lost six, six inches in your waistline, that's fabulous. Yeah, it's just like, you know, I, I was the other day at this clinic and I was inquiring about the cool sculpting. You know, cool sculpting, it's quite expensive, but basically it promised you to, you know, it's like getting liposuction without having something so invasive. Um, and it's so expensive. And if you just want to lose two inches in your waistline, it's gonna cost you like three to four grand because you have to go a few times to get it done. And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, it's so easy to lose two inches in my waistline with waist training. You know, if people only knew how easy it is to lose two inches in your waistline with waist training. It's like you would save so much money on these other procedures that people do and they think that they have to do and that just don't even deliver near as good results as waist training. Okay. <clears throat> okay, last question. Will you please do more videos on femininity and sensuality? They were very helpful in developing confidence while going through this glow up transformation. Oh, I love that, I love that. Um, absolutely, yeah, I'd be happy to. You know, those are my favorite topics. I love talking about femininity. I love talking about energies, the masculine, the feminine. I love talking about, you know, confidence and all that stuff because that's my, like, that's, those are real topics, you know, we all go through that. I've had phases of my life with very low confidence. I've had phases of my life where I've had super good confidence and learning to, to become more like that without being cocky and you know, all that crap that can come with it. Um, and then also just really learning how to manipulate my energies. We all have the masculine and the feminine energy within us. And myself as a businesswoman, I found that mm, my nature is more feminine, but when I'm spending all this time working all day, I tend to be more in my masculine energy. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're equal. There's not one better than the other. Um, but I had to really learn how to transition back into my feminine energy so that there wasn't this misalignment because if you're not living in your nature, there's always gonna be this misalignment, this feeling of like, oh, I don't feel like myself. Like I just don't feel like me, but I can't put my finger on what it is. I don't really know what's wrong. 
And it's because you're just not honoring and respecting the nature, like what your nature is. So love those to topics. Would love to do more videos on that. Thank you for sharing because it's nice to know, you know what videos you guys like and which ones you don't. So that is good feedback. So um, I think that's all. It's about 40 minutes here live. So thank you so much for um, joining in. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, go to our Facebook group, Lux Curves Waste Chain Dolls, fabulous community. You can get any question answered there by other fellow waist trainees. Um, and then make sure you hit the bell notification on this YouTube channel so that you don't miss any videos because just being subscribed is not enough. You have to now actually hit the bell symbol to actually get notified when I do release a new video, um, which could be helpful to you on your glow up. All right, ladies, take care. Bye.